It's a challenge to be successful in agriculture. Though it's richly rewarding, farming is not the romantic, serene vocation our city neighbors might imagine it to be. It's a challenge to beat the odds, to adapt to and conquer the changes we face every day. White New Idea Farm Equipment Company is here to help farmers meet that challenge, to help them adapt to change. We're here to manufacture quality farm equipment which will help farmers succeed in agribusiness today. In 1990, we went on the road to introduce impressive new products in the White New Idea Farm Equipment lineup. We called this the White Challenge and introduced new planters, new tillage equipment, and new tractors. And all of this new equipment clearly has one thing in common. It's been designed to help farmers adapt to the daily challenges they face in farming. The new 6000 series planter by White represents a significant improvement over the 5000 series, already a market leader in planters. The new 6000 series combines the proven positive air metering system with flexibility in frame configurations and attachments to fit most planting requirements, including soybeans. All models feature positive air metering for unmatched planting accuracy, walking bean gauge wheels for precise depth control, and state-of-the-art seed trench equipment to create a fertile seed environment. We've added conveniences like a two-bushel hopper with a wider opening and snap-on lids. Likewise, we've also improved the chemical hoppers. Plus, we've improved on the accuracy of white planters with a transmission which is easy to set and is more consistent. We still offer the white planter in rigid, vertical folding and mounted models. With the 6000 series, we introduce a forward fold model which lets you go places you've never gone before. In fact, you can have the planter unfolded and ready to go in less than two minutes. That's the new 6000 series planter by White. All things considered, we challenge today's farmer to find a better planter on the market. It's a challenge to keep up with the government's regulations on agriculture. And one area where changes occur most frequently is in conservation standards. No matter what the standards are today, it's a given that farmers must, to one degree or another, control soil loss. White has introduced three tillage tools which can play a vital role in any erosion control program while performing exceptional primary and secondary tillage. The 445 conservation disc chisel, the 230 field cultivator, and the 379 row crop cultivator. The new 445 conservation disc chisel has taken the primary tillage market by storm. With rippled coulters and chisel spikes, the 445 is prepared for conservation tillage. With concave discs and twisted shovels, the 445 is ready for aggressive tillage. Add on deep till shanks to solve a compaction problem, plus our leveling bar makes the 445 a spring tillage tool. Simply put, with the 445, a farmer can incorporate a little residue or a lot. It can perform tri-level tillage in one pass, which minimizes compaction, plus saves time, fuel, and can help reduce soil erosion. The new White 230 field cultivator is an evolution in secondary tillage equipment for conservation or conventional tillage. The 230 offers a combination of features not found on any other tillage tool. This unique combination works together for more consistent chemical incorporation and superior seedbed preparation. The five bar frame of the 230 is made of large four by four inch tubing for strength and durability. This five bar design puts shanks at least 28 inches apart for more clearance, which means less plugging in high residue field conditions. To keep the machine from digging in or riding out when working through peaks and valleys, the 230 has a self-leveling hitch and mechanical wing control. That keeps the 230 level front to rear and side to side. The third player on the new white conservation tillage team is the 379 row crop cultivator. It's a high-speed, heavy-duty machine designed for use in no-till and reduced tillage applications for cultivating plus air and moisture control. The primary benefit of the 379 to today's farmer is that it reduces his dependency on chemicals for weed and grass control. 
Low-rate chemical application and reduced chemical costs are benefits from using the mechanical weed control technique designed into the 379. The 379 is designed to operate in no-till or reduced tillage fields without time-consuming adjustments. An 18-inch coulter with dual depth bands cuts through heavy residue, trash, and sod. It's followed by 14-inch disc hillers, which cut residue beside the crop row. Then a chisel plow shank with wide sweep cuts grass and weed roots and works the soil between rows. This simple, clean design reduces plugging and allows faster cultivating speeds to improve cultivating efficiency. By offering the 445, 230, and 379, White New Idea is positioning itself as the industry leader in conservation tillage. We've recognized today's farmer wants to save soil and wants tillage equipment which makes it easy and economical to do so. The 445, 230, and 379 are versatile enough to fill any conservation or conventional tillage need. The American series by White was introduced in 1989. These 60 and 80 horsepower tractors are primarily made for hard-working utility applications. And they've grabbed a lot of attention because of their rugged durability and performance. The new American series carries a number of improvements, like a 105 amp alternator, an auxiliary light package, and automotive style recessed red and amber lights positioned high on the post for increased visibility. Best of all, our new cabbed version makes the American series just as comfortable as the big tractors. It's a full-sized roomy cab with a tilt and telescopic wheel, ground level door latch, and optional air ride seat. The American series is still built to handle tough field conditions for lifelong service. For example, our exclusive cast iron mainframe provides built-in working weight, biting traction, and superb place to mount tanks or a loader. If you're interested in a utility tractor, test drive a white. It could very well be all the tractor you'll ever need. The new workhorse by White is an evolution of dust grazing power and rugged dependability. What makes the new workhorse a superior tractor is the new Cummins engine combined with an improved White transmission. This power team makes White the most productive tractor on the market and we proved it during the White Challenge. In side-by-side -side comparisons, we took on the Case 7130 and the Deer 4755. Here's how the comparisons were conducted. All three tractors weighed within 30 pounds of each other. We've got the weight slip in the window. Would you read to them? 16,880 pounds. 16,880. Would you read to them what the, uh, the weight ticket is there? 16,910 pounds. Okay, it's 16,910. 16,900 pounds. So it's 16,900. Rated PTO horsepower of the case was 172 the Deer 177, and the White 166. Other factors like tire size and ballast were similar. We attached the same implement to each tractor, an 11-foot White 445 conservation disc chisel. All settings were the same. We'll go from the end of the stop right to this red portion of the cylinder there. Would you say that's about six? Quarter. Six, uh, about six and a quarter. All were set 11 inches in ground. Implement hitches were set at 18 inches above ground with the implement at full depth. Each tractor was equipped with a one half liter beaker rigged with an electronic Murphy switch. This beaker holds a half liter of fuel. That is 0.13 gallons or almost a pint. Once the tractor runs out of fuel in this beaker, the Murphy switch shuts the tractor off. When the fuel ran out of the beaker, the tractor shut down immediately. This gave us the distance the tractor could travel on one half liter of fuel, which enabled us to figure fuel used per acre. Each tractor started at the end of a measured course. A gear was selected to keep all engines within 100 RPM of a rated speed of 2200 RPM. Each traveled 200 feet to reach speed. Then at the 200 foot mark, a clock started to measure the time it took to travel the next 200 feet. This would enable us to figure miles per hour traveled, thus calculate acres covered per hour. The result of each and every test was the same. The
the white tractor covered more acres in a day and burned less fuel per acre. That, without argument, makes the white a more productive tractor than the deer or the case. This table shows the average of 20 tests we conducted across the United States and Canada. We always ran in wheat against the grain to ensure all tractors hit the same tire tracks, dead furrows, and other factors in the soil. Standard calculation tables were used to determine productivity from the timed run over the 200-foot course. Fuel consumption was determined from the total distance the tractor traveled on one half liter of fuel. Exactly what do these figures mean? Let's suppose a farmer has 500 acres of ground to chisel. In a 10-hour day, the white would cover 60.20 acres, the case 56.80, and the deer 49.60. At that rate, how many days would it take to chisel 500 acres? The white would do it in 8.30 days, the case in 8.80, and the deer in 10.08 days. Now let's look at fuel consumption. We figured the white used 0.87 gallons of fuel per acre. Over 500 acres, it would use 435 gallons. The case would use 500 gallons, and the deer, 510 gallons. The conclusion is simple. The white tractor with its 18-speed transmission and three-speed power shift is more productive than the comparable Case 7130 and Deer 4755. Superior productivity means a savings of time and money every time you put a white tractor to work in the field. The obvious question at this point is why is the white more productive? The answer is simple. The transmission in a white tractor is superior. The white transmission produces seven speeds in the four to seven mile per hour work range. The case and deer only produce five. That means our ratios are better. Often our transmission can power the tractor and load one half mile per hour faster not a full mile per hour faster as a case and a deer are forced to do. By adjusting speed in one half mile per hour increments, a farmer can more closely match speed with the job, which increases productivity. Clearly, it is the transmission, not the engine, which determines productivity. The workhorse has the right gear splits for today's farmer. Competitive tractors force the operator to adjust speed by one mile an hour or more. Plus, the new workhorse carries a number of superior features, like a 105-amp alternator, an auxiliary light package, and automotive-style recessed red and amber lights positioned high on the post for increased visibility. The new workhorse also features a new clutch, a longer wheelbase, new power front axle and fenders, new step and cab door, new air ride seat, and new radio options. The new workhorse from White very likely the most productive tractor you can buy, and we proved it. It's a challenge to be successful in agriculture. It's a challenge to beat those odds and conquer the changes we face every day. White New Idea is helping farmers meet that challenge by manufacturing farm equipment designed to adapt to most any condition a farmer comes across in North America. In 1990, we introduced an impressive new lineup of farm equipment for today's modern, aggressive agribusinessman. White New Idea Farm Equipment, designed to help make farming a profitable business for the North American farmer. <laughs>